Are you afraid of going to the dentist? Don't worry, you're not alone. This is one of the most common fears in America, but we are sitting down with Dr. Haas at the Super Dentist as he shares his tips for overcoming anxiety and getting excited. Dr. Haas, you have become known as America's most trusted dentist for so many reasons. And I think one of the reasons you've become so popular and trusted is because you give great advice when it comes to getting kids, especially excited about going to the dentist. So before we talk about how to get kids excited, let's talk about some of the causes. Why do many children seem to be afraid of going to the dentist? It's not just kids, by the way. 30 to 60 million Americans are scared of the dentist. Wow. They have dental phobia. I think after public speaking, they say going to the dentist is the, the top fear, which is really <laughs> crazy. And I think it has to do with a variety of reasons. One is either, you know, the parents have that fear and they pass that on epigenetically. There was a study that showed that you can actually pass your own fears to your kids for two generations. And so if they've had a bad experience in their childhood, or they just bring bad experience to the, you know, they bring stress to the appointment, they talk negatively about the appointment. Oh, the child had a bad experience at, an, at a dental office, right? And they, maybe they don't take care of their teeth at home, so there's a lot of dental work that needs to be done at the dentist's office. Uh, just a variety of reasons, I think. And, you know, we're working in the mouth, you know, sometimes you have to give injection and pull teeth. I mean, no one's gonna like that. Mm -hmm. And so our job is to really, as parents and as a professional, is to build positive associations with oral care because oral health is so much more than just cavities. If kids love taking care of their mouth and they have a positive association with their oral care and oral health, they're gonna do it. They're gonna take care of better their mouth. It's such an important thing to make sure that uh, we associate a positive thing about going to the dentist and taking care of your teeth. Yeah, and you know, as a father yourself, you know how important it is mm -hmm. to get your kids excited about taking care of their teeth. You have so many locations throughout the county. Today, we're in the Carmel Valley location. I don't know who wouldn't be excited about coming in here. You yeah. make it so fun. Thank you. So uh, I would say your decor is just one way to get kids excited about exactly. going, but there's other things we can do too. A hundred percent. So yeah, we obviously, we want to take your kid to a pediatric dentist in general, if, if it's possible, if you have near one you're, where you live, because we are specialists. We design our offices around kids. We have small instruments. We have our staff that are trained to take care of kids, not just the clinical side of it, but there's mental health and the positive association side of it. We have toys and video games and we have augmented reality we tell stories about uh, superheroes and villains and music and so kids when they come to the super dentist or locations like a pediatric dentist like that they don't think they're going to the dentist they I, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that when I ask parents how did you come here many of them say my kids begged me to come here I mean what kid begs their dentist parents to go to the dentist because in their mind they're not going to the dentist they're going to a theme park, right? Mm -hmm. With slides and with video games and with augmented reality experiences and toys and TVs and video. And, and so what kid doesn't want to go to a theme park, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the ways that we want to build positive associations. Nice, and speaking to that, you know, you have great products that get kids excited about taking care of their teeth at home. Your fun toothbrushes that play music. Your newest project is called Super Mouth. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm really excited about this because as much as the Super Dentist has been wonderful and people love it and uh, we really build great relationship with our patients, we only see people in average two times a year, right? Mm -hmm. You go to the dentist right. twice a year. You know, if you're doing everything, follow everything right. Well, what happens with other, the other 363 days? Who takes care of your teeth? As a mom, how do you decide what toothpaste to buy? Do you buy the same toothpaste for a three-year-old and an eight-year-old? Maybe a three-year-old never gets a cavity and you have a 16-year-old who has a soda habit, gets a ton of cavities. You're on your own, right? Because mm -hmm. believe it or not, even pediatric dentists, we're not experts. We don't, we don't get educated in dental school or in our residency what's in a toothpaste, a mouthwash. Our knowledge about oral care is just like you. What we know about fluoride is pretty much like the general public. And so we decided we, it's time to change that. You know, every single oral care product company right now in the US are adult oriented. Yes, they have a strawberry flavor and they call it a children's toothpaste, but we are a brand new oral care product company specializing for kids. And when I say that is, a, again, a one-year-old baby and a five-year-old have, have different needs for the oral care. So we customize oral care products based on age, based on risk factors, mm -hmm. and based on preferences. So we have these systems and we customize it, we ship it to people's homes. You take all the guesswork out for us. Exactly. <laughs> and then we don't have to text you on the side. Dr. Haas, <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I'm happy to get those texts too. Nice, well thank you so much. My pleasure. As always for your time, I'm already looking forward to our next conversation. Thank you, <laughs>